Hey Adriana, I just want to make you another video. I've got two more opals that I just got in. But this is D1 again, and look at all that purple fire, and it's such a dark opal. Yet it also has reds um, that are B1, you know, brightness. Um, but it is a dark, dark opal, so when you're wearing it, a lot of times it will look like this, purple, which is, I think, what you're looking for. Yet it has these other colors. It's such an incredible opal. And look at the greens when you go this way. I just wanted to give you another look at it. See, look at all those purples and blues plus the reds. All right, so that was D1 again. And here is E12, uh, A12 again, which has a lot of purple in it actually, but also green. And it is translucent a bit. But I wanted you to see that. I can also cut this a little bit more oval shaped for your ring if you want me to. Which we'll probably have to do a little bit. But it has a lot of purples in it. And then these two new opals, they're very, very large opals. So it would be a really different design for your ring to have such a big 14 by 10 millimeter opal. But I do have this translucent, wonderful, dark, mysterious opal I just got in yesterday. And let's call this one um, 14 by 10 millimeter number one, since it doesn't have a number yet. Isn't it wonderful? It's really kind of the colors that you like. And then this one is also very large. It's like 15 by 10 millimeters. Let's call it 15 by 10 number two. And it's got those purples and colors in it. It's a wonderful opal too. This would make for a very different type of ring for you, a big opal ring. You may not even want diamonds, may just want the opal to be all there is in the setting when it's this big of an opal. Or we could do a halo of diamonds, a little diamonds if you want. That would be nice with one of these. So I just wanted you to see these as they are extraordinary and brand new and are not in any of my videos.